Hey guys, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Sarah. I'm a new YouTuber. In most states, over precisely. If you're a new subscriber, you are highly welcome. And if you're yet subscribed to my channel, please do well too. On this day, I've been piling my pregnancy video from day one that I checked and tested positive. I've been piling all those videos till the day I will put to bed before I start posting them one after the other. But unfortunately, I do not have my child with me now because I lost her. I lost her when I went to the hospital. I lost her. I don't know. Early enough, from the beginning of this pregnancy, it has not been easy for me. Look at when I went to the hospital. I checked with test strip and I was not convinced. Then I decided to, you know, go to the hospital and get a pregnancy test done. Because I've had the miscarriage once before this positive. Actually, I took in on April. I had miscarriage in March. I took in April of this, my bundle of joy. But God knows the best in everything. God knows the best. So I decided to pile all those videos together so it will be a memory for me when I start losing, when I, when I start giving birth to my daughter's siblings, those children that will stay with me, when I start giving birth to them, and when I see this video, I'll use it to remember when I was in tears of losing a child. We all know that this journey of nine months is not easy. From the beginning, it's not easy. But I give God all the glory. This is when I went to my first scan. That is about 11 weeks. I went to my first scan to check my baby. I was so happy when they checked and said that I'm 11 weeks pregnant. I'm so happy. So on this next one is one of the nights during my first trimester. I, I saw shaggy promise in my first trimester. Like I was literally vomiting everything that enters my mouth. I will vomit. If I swallow my saliva, I will vomit. If I mistakenly eat any sugary stuff, I will vomit. Anything that enters my stomach, I will end up vomiting it. Here, I'm using container to actually put my saliva across. I cannot sleep and wake up without, you know, spitting out saliva out of my mouth. I made use of tum tum, it didn't work. Chewing gum, it still didn't work. I make use of a uh, bitter cola. It did still work. I was literally <laughs> vomiting. But I'm still happy because was it I'm doing everything for my child. Why would I be angry? I was just putting up this video. I was just saying that once I put to bed and my daughter grows or my baby grows, grows up, I will, you know, <laughs> put this video for him or her to, you know, know that I passed through a lot during this pregnancy. But in everything, I give God all the glory. That the fact that I'm alive, I give God the glory because this journey of nine months is not everybody that goes in that comes out. I have so I've, I've heard so many sad stories of women that enter the labor room. They begin it giving birth they will lose their life in the process and the baby will be alive. But in my own case, it happens that I'm alive. I'm alive to the glory of God. I'm alive. I've finished crying. I've wiped away my tears. I've consoled myself. I give God the glory. Here I'm in my show, feeling myself, feeling the vibes of pregnancy, 
in my mouth. I have bitter cola in my mouth here. <laughs> I was just feeling myself. Nobody will know what I'm passing through here. I'm a strong girl. That's all I have to say. I'm a strong girl carrying pregnancy alone in a long distance relationship with my partner. It's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy at all. It is another night again. I don't know if I mistakenly put this video twice. I started this video twice. I don't know, but here yeah, I was just thinking about my life. Because <laughs> I'm living alone. I'm living alone. My mom and my siblings, they're living far away from me. But later on, my brother is to come and stay with me for a while. He's the one doing the cooking and everything. Here, yeah, um, I think I'm um, four months pregnant here. Yeah. I think I'm four months pregnant here. Yeah. Here, yeah, I was just feeling my belly. <laughs> I was just feeling my belly, showing myself through this journey. I think I was sure. Here, yeah, I'm um, about six months pregnant here. Yeah. I'm six months pregnant here. Yeah. yeah, I'm six months pregnant. I was just dancing. <laughs> I was just dancing. I'm feeling my belly. <laughs> it's not easy. Oh. It's not easy at all. I was just feeling the vibe. Feeling the vibe. <laughs> in this pregnancy, eh, I was just energetic. I was just, you know, I was a very strong girl. Because after my first trimester, around my second trimester, energy from nowhere, like... I got a whole lot of energy, positive vibes, you know. I go to the market, come back, cook the food that I'll eat. I'll end up eating the food. So, I don't know. I'm a very strong girl. That's all I have to say. I'm a very strong girl. This is one of the days also. I think, yeah, I'm in my three months. No, yeah, I'm still in my four months pregnant here. Yeah. I was just doing videos, piling videos all together. I don't even know which one is which one. Which one will come first and which one will come second. So, yeah, I think I am um, four months here. Yeah. That's what I think that I am here. Yeah. I was just feeling happy. I was just feeling myself. <laughs> I was just feeling myself with my little bump <laughs> until boom, I fall sick. Yeah, I was very, very sick. Yeah, it's around August. Around August, um, I think I'm six months, I'm five months pregnant. Yeah, around August, I was very, very sick. Malaria, typhoid, cold. I don't even have any strength, no single energy. So I was just praying. I'm just on my own. I was just crying, emotional. <laughs> I was just emotional. Well, I'm emotional is that I was my God there with me. That's how so emotional. Uh, I was so emotional here. I was just asking myself, when will this end? When will this journey end? Because I can't wait to hold my bundle of joy. Anyways, I can still get positive vibes here. Yeah. yeah, I was craving for a particular thing. I think I'm craving for for what is the name of this rice? I was craving for one particular type of rice. So I said to go to E3 and get it myself. Guys, what the fuck? What the heck? I said to go and get the rice. When I remember the rice, I was still talking about it here. I was just craving for the rice. So I said to go and get it. Here, yeah, I was in my room on a Saturday morning. I was just feeling myself. I was just feeling myself. I was just doing videos all around because it's my first pregnancy. So I was just feeling myself, feeling my little baby bump. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I was just feeling myself, giving God all the glory. Oh, uh, adoration. So, that's it. And the fact is that after doing these videos, I will end up presenting to my husband. So, so he will be keeping them for me. 
you will be keeping them for me. But I'm sure if I give spare, to will start posting them. So that's it. That's the aim of all these videos for sweet memories. For sweet memories. So I still give God the glory because who am I to question Him? I mean, nobody. So this is all of the days also. I think, yeah, I'm in my seven months pregnant. I'm in my seven months pregnant. One thing I learned in this pregnancy is that your clothes, all those your hey, all those your clothes that you normally use when you are not pregnant. When once you're pregnant, you end up keeping them. So yeah, literally, I really, really as in I changed my wardrobe during this pregnancy because what the fact I was having a flat tummy like. So most of my clothes around my four months pregnancy, I end up not using them anymore. Cause what's this? This cloth now I bought it new. I bought this cloth new for this my pregnancy. So that's literally it. So I was just hey on this day I was just shaking myself. I was shaking my body. Cause what's that? So this is another day also. And the fact is that each time I'm dancing, that's when I'll just be, you know, be happy. This dance. It acts as a therapeutic. <laughs> I think it's a therapeutic touch to me. So this dance release a whole lot of things. From anxiety, from stress, and all those things. And the fact is that People will, will be like asking me, is this your first pregnancy? I'll say yes. They'll be like, wow, you are too strong. You are too strong in this pregnancy. Like, I was literally strong from my second trimester down to the day that I put to bed. Like, I'm so strong. I'm so, so strong and energetic. <laughs> I was just asking away my sorrows because, what the heck? What the heck? I'm a Sivina. Okay, today <laughs> today is one of those days. Like this is my stomach. <laughs> Most of my clothes. You guys will see how this clothes <laughs> looks on me. <laughs> Cause this is my trust that I was not able to put in it. Cause <laughs> I wanted to, you know, wear trousers that day. And <laughs> and I was just ending up covering up, trying to cover myself up because What's this? Because my waist, the trouser is no longer entering my waist. So what I think of everything, I don't even know what I'm saying here. My little baby bump, my baby, baby, baby. Because hey. my baby girl is inside there. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, Sha, pregnancy will not be your mate. I still come outside and I was still feeling myself. Feeling myself. I don't know. This snapshot is giving me hope. Because if I remove this snapshot, you guys will see how wah, wah, <laughs> how ugly my face looks. Um, uh, But I'm not too change for pregnancy, Sha. Pregnancy not even change my face that much. Mm. So here, yeah, I'm just feeling, 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 feeling myself. Feeling myself. Because what else? Pregnancy without feeling yourself. So I'm feeling myself to the glory of God. I'm feeling myself. <laughs> anyway, what I see myself, I just did dance. See the full outfit now. See the full outfit now. Mommy, baby, feeling all pengalingi, pengalingi. Anyway, I've wiped away my tears. I'm no longer, you know, crying again. So, I think this is my third scan. This is my gender review. Is a baby girl. Is a baby girl. See her vagina. See the head of my baby. The sonographer was actually trying to get everything, get the details. If my baby is okay. And all those stuff, what not. So, look at my baby. My baby is Okay, I look at her heartbeat. My baby is breathing fine. Like her breathing is okay. I thank God also for that. 
look at the baby's heartbeat. So that's it. That's it for it. So look at it. Look at my baby. See nose now. See pointed nose. Better pointed nose. We go have had. <laughs> Hey, hey, God, do uh, what will be pregnancy that because it's my first baby. I was just like thinking, who is this baby going to resemble? Is she going to resemble me, or she's going to resemble her dad? Oh my God! And at the end of everything, even when I lost my baby, I saw that my baby is actually the replica of her dad. Hey, wahala, wahala, deo, inwisha. Let bygone be bygone. I've forgotten everything. I'm trying to forget everything. But I'm piling up this video for my testimony. I'm piling up this video for my testimony. So if you see this video, just know that baby girl is alive. So on this day was one of the days of my accident. I look at how unkept I'm looking. Hey, <laughs> see my face now. See my face. See my hair. Oh my god, and the fact is that I'm keeping vegging hair. And throughout this my pregnancy, I could count the times that I made my hair. The only thing is that if I remember, I would just go to my neighbor, she would just put these cornrows for me. I would just carry these cornrows and be feeling like Bilonia's wife. <laughs> Bilonia's wife. Mm. So look at me. We are about to do mash past. <laughs> This is the day we are about to do mash past. Yeah, I went for maternity. I can't even play the song that we are singing here. So on this day, I had a wound on my stomach. I don't know. I don't know. I had a wound on my stomach. I was just keeping it. Keeping it. Because the last scan that I went for, I think I went for scan at 28 weeks. And they said my baby is bridge that my baby is bridge you so that's it look at the day that i went for another scan i was just looking beautiful here oh my god see beautiful girl that baby girl the beautiful <laughs> Baby girl, they got beautiful. Like people were like asking me, "Oh my God, you're pregnant and you're looking this beautiful. Like what? What's the secret? Hey, what's the secret to this beauty? <laughs> oh my God, I don't know whether they are whining me or not. <laughs> but all I know is that I'm beautiful now. Eh? I'm beautiful. Am I not beautiful? Oh my God, people just they compliment me. Oh my God, hey where? This girl, the quadro too beautiful in pregnancy. Oh um, uh, Anyway. God day. God day. God day. I was just piling this way. See my face now. I don't know. <laughs> oh my they were like telling me, so you are feeling yourself now, Abby? Now yourself you they feel now, Abby. Oh, you see me now. I don't want bed. Time for them to, you know, do the scan and all those stuff, whatnot. So, see another scan that I went for. Look at me. Look at my baby. So, I think I did scan four times before the arrival of my baby. I did scan four times. I don't know what went wrong, actually. But I give God all the glory that at least I'm alive. I'm alive. See my baby now. Anna, see my baby. See the heart. See the lungs. I be the heart. Anna, see my baby. Oh, baby girl. Don't worry. You will still come back again. Anna, see me now in my shop. <laughs> with this rock up i don't know what i'm i don't know what i'm feeling i see me now see my face beautiful girl beautiful girl you don't even look pregnant except this nose that just wide open small oh my god see nose now <laughs> see, 
see those now. Um, uh, I'll try my best to actually put um one of my pictures without filter so you guys will see the changes in this pregnancy. So this is one of the days that I went to church. This is after the church. I decided to, you know, make some videos for memory's sake. I was just making videos for memory's sake. See me now. Here I'm about eight months pregnant here. I'm eight months pregnant here. So that's it. See me now, mommy baby. Looking beautiful. Looking beautiful. See me now. Oh my. <laughs> At the time I tried to hold my bum. Puma. See me now. And besides that, if I change my body finish that eh. I'm going to do boom, boom, boom for my belly. <laughs> because I don't shake my body finish. Anyways. Oh my God. Oh. It's well. It is well with my soul. It is well with my soul. God will console her, will console me, will keep on consoling me. Because I'm alive. So many women have actually lost their life while giving birth but god in his infinite mercy have been paving his way for me despite the fact that i lose my baby but i know that all hope is not actually lost my baby actually tried to survive but god actually knows the best it is well with my soul it is well with my soul. I am happy. I am happy that I'm alive. My husband is alive. So we're going to make another baby. So this is me. I think I'm nine months pregnant here. Yeah. I'm nine months pregnant. See me now. I'm nine months pregnant. I'm just actually waiting for the due date. I'm actually waiting for the due day. For the day that it's going to happen, see me now. I was just feeling beautiful from the beginning of my pregnancy till now. Like, ah, ah, nah, see me now. Okay, on this day, um, I was craving for um spaghetti. Spaghetti and chicken. I was craving for spaghetti and chicken. So I decided to went to Market Square to get spaghetti and chicken. I don't know the way they prepare it. That's what I'm craving for. So I said to go to Market Square. And you guys, I not end up getting only spaghetti. I also bought Chinese fried rice. Hey, God. Hey. I also bought Chinese fried rice. Look at the spaghetti here. Looking at me. That's what I was craving for. So I had that motor to go there and get them. I think I went to Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro did not have spaghetti. Then I tried to enter into market here. Here in a way to get the spaghetti. And on reaching there, the girl asked me to drop my handbag. I just really told her that, see, oh, me, I cannot drop this handbag here with that. Like, how would I drop my handbag and enter market square? Well, how am I going to pay? I should not carry my money on my hand, baby. I'll be and go inside a uh, market square to start paying for what I bought. No. I told that Jelly, I'm not keeping my bag here. So look at me, waiting for food. I'm waiting for food. I'm waiting for the woman that will do the house for me. Patiently, waiting for food. Yeah, I'm still good here. Still good to actually enjoy my summer abroad. That's why I made the cook for this baby. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, so, so this is me, my dog days. This is the picture that I actually sent to my husband. I think it's my husband. This is my nine months pregnancy, also. I said, I said earlier that this pregnancy was immediately I reached my second trimester. Everything just changed. Like the kind of energy and positive vibes that I have throughout this pregnancy is second to none. Like, anyway, 
Uh, God knows the best, too. God actually knows the best. Look at me now. Wish my wife. Omo. Omo. Bilonia wife. Aso dogu. Aso dogu. Aso dogu. Mommy, future president of Nigeria. <laughs> anyway. So, my God, though. I don't know how I'm feeling in this pregnancy because the shakala too much. It just seems my baby happens to be alive. Eh? Ha. A shakala no be here. Oh. A shakala no be here. Mama. But I thank God for everything. Because I was just doing shakara. Immediately I end up my second trimester. I was just doing shakara from the beginning to the end. The shakara too much. I beg. Ah, ah. See me now. Ah uh-uh, ah, see me now. Let us shakara, shakara baby girl. <laughs> shakara baby girl. This clothes I actually bought it new. The other one that you guys saw, I actually bought it new for this pregnancy. Cause I literally like I literally changed my wardrobe because of this pregnancy. Because all my clothes, both my church clothes, my outing clothes, and all those things, end up not in 